So today has been a super busy day, trying to get organized in my schedule, booking flights, getting stuff organized for like the rest of the year, like a ton of stuff. Kind of running around frantic with that, making phone calls, texting people. It just kind of turned into that today. The good news is we're getting stuff done. Things are getting organized. There's a lot of good stuff coming. I'm very excited for 2023. The bad news is I haven't been able to do much other than that. So I'm about to go out and run some errands. I've got some stuff I want to update you on. I cannot find my wallet. I literally have no idea where my wallet is. So be right back. I need to find that. So this ski hill, that's where I learned to snowboard years ago. So I still haven't found my wallet and I have no idea where it is, so that's kind of a bummer. I'll have to make that a priority for today. Got a lot done, and so I wanted to update you briefly on that. One of my goals for this year is to run a marathon, as you know. I made an attempt to get a spot for the New York City Marathon. Unfortunately, I was unsuccessful in getting a lottery spot. Obviously, I have not run a marathon, so I'm not qualified to run in New York City, but I love that city, so I really want to do it there. And so I've entered in to buy a spot at that race. And so hopefully that goes through. And so basically what that means is I go through a tour company. They basically have a certain number of reserved spots. I'm able to race there um, as a result of that. So still trying for the New York City Marathon. If I don't do that one, I'm happy with any other marathon, really. Probably the Toronto Waterfront Marathon is the one that I'll do. But um, yeah, I love New York City. So it'd be nice to go back and race there. The many paths to getting a spot. So the other kind of great piece of news is that the 10K swim that I'm doing later this year in Bermuda, I'm not going alone. So my friend Chris Cooper has signed up to do the race with me. So if you've been watching for a while, you know my one friend Chris. He's not the one that's gonna be racing with me. Instead, my buddy from Manitoulin Island, Chris Cooper, he's gonna be coming doing a 10K swim. Guy is a legend. He's never done that before. I don't think he's ever done a swim event before. He is diving in the deep end, literally. So we're going to Bermuda. October. So that's the other big piece of news we're working on today. So the other important update is that um, Stephanie, my wife, is in LA at the moment. That's right, she's in Los Angeles. I was gonna go out there, I was gonna fly out there and see her, hang out, see some other friends that are out there, do some training, fun in the sun. I decided not to. That's right canceled that trip. That is not happening. I'm not going to LA this week. We've got too much to do, too much going on here. I've got a bunch of stuff to get caught up on, a bunch of stuff to get organized, and maybe something else in the work. You'll have to wait and see. Not going out to LA. Let's all wish Steph a very happy time in LA with her friends. Uh, I think she's gonna have a blast. Hollywood, baby. She'll fit right in. It's kind of amazing that even in small town, Northern Ontario, there's enough noise pollution to actually disturb filming. It's insane. You can't avoid it. Noise pollution, it's everywhere. Oh, so the other kind, oh, you know what? I forgot to eat lunch and I made something really nice. Beef and veggie penne for dinner last night. So there's lots of leftovers. <sighs> you wanna see what I made? Check it out. Come up with a better name than beef and veggie penne. Penne a la Eric. Penne, uh, veggie buff penne. Eric's veggie buff penne. Guys, I, I don't know. Uh, vegetable, uh, a premier penne pasta, tomato base with beef and veg, served with a crostini garlico con butter, served with a Garlic butter glazed crostini. We're getting closer. We're getting a lot closer. Premier penne pasta. Premier beef and veg penne with fresh broccacini cheese. Anyways, I, I don't know. I got nothing. Guys, we've got to talk about this. There was literally an explosion here. Oh, my stuff is all over the place. And these cans. Oh my God. Not good. Whoops. Great. And just like that, the wallet is found. That only ate up like an hour. 